Hi, and welcome to a new Married to Reselling video. Hi. We are Faye and Simon. We are UK resellers. We buy and we sell on eBay and Amazon. Buy mainly from charity shops and auctions. We're just picking up a few orders. Uh, so we've got a few things to show you, a few things of interest, things that have been in our haul videos and other videos uh, recently. So what should we start with? cable knit jumper so it should be in P for polo in tops it's brown cable knit brown jumper oh, what have you just picked up what are you throwing about that one no it's green just check in hello oh, right. Ralph an interesting angle. Well, it's because this. What's it called? Tripod, probably. Uh, this was three pound from a charity shop in April. Sold for seventeen ninety nine. Next up, we have the Sheen jersey skater dress that is in palette twelve. Woo! Woo. Palette uh, twelve. Yeah, eleven and twelve. It's khaki green. Size large yeah. matches your jumper. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was two seventy eight, and that's sold for eight ninety nine. Listed since March. Had it a while. <laughs> then we've got some Rohan women's essential trousers, large. So they'll be in bottoms. B for butts. <laughs> Come on, is it behind you? Is it yeah. behind you? Bottoms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where it always was. I thought yeah. I'd lose that one. So they are shale grey, size large. Is it Rohan? Yeah. Too many things in here. Mm. Is it like one of these ones? Yeah, Rohan. Central. Yeah, large. Cool, well done. We had them ages. They, they're they like the scragglers that dropped off. Uh, yeah. So we bought a load of Rohan trousers in bulk from an auction. And for some reason, a couple fell off our listing. So I relisted that. That one went for 14. Then palette 16. Uh, yeah, I've got that. 15, 16. Weekday oversized t-shirt black. Not that oversized, is it? No. It's a size small as well. An oversized size small? Yeah. Interesting. Weekday oversized t-shirt small. Yeah. That cost two seventy eight. It was a pallet item, sold for eight ninety nine. Listed since April. And then we have pallet fourteen. <clears throat> Luna, you know I'm holding the camera, don't you? There you go. Where's Snoopy? 14. Where's Snoopy? There he is. Hello, darling. Here he goes. 14. Uh, a Jack and Jones classic polo shirt, large dark grey. This was a pallet item, two seventy eight. It cost sold for nine pound. This is like the like the sort of cheapy stuff going out now. We're reducing the prices down. Jack and Jones classic polo shirt, yeah. large. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. And then we've got some stuff already on here. Crane. This is a quarter zip base layer, long sleeve polo neck. It's pure merino. Pick this up uh, this month. Cost three ninety nine. Sold for nineteen ninety nine. Sold in less than twenty four hours. 
as well, uh, this one sold persona. in less than 20 minutes this is persona by marina Rinaldi shirt it's a uh, plus size 24 brand new tags cost 750 sold for 39.99 and then the mint velvet skirt cost two pound from the garage sale trail from the lady that put her prices up last year but then did two pound an item this year and that sold for 19.79 that was just in a week or so a couple of cheapy bits but also show you the rummy cup because when we did the haul video I'm not sure why but two plus two didn't add up when we did it uh this is rummy cup word so it's not like the normal rummy cup which i was getting excited about uh, so, t so someone offered us nine pounds on it. What did we pay? We pay three pound fifty. Yeah, someone offered us nine, which I would have probably taken, but Faye had already declined it, and then they came back with third, t eleven. Eleven. You told me to take which it. Which I said just take it because it's not the good one. Yeah, I didn't really want it actually in the end. Okay, we've got a little haul for you now. It's actually a Faye haul. I have not. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's on the table in front of me, and there's a big bag of clothes. I think. Yes, they're closed. Yeah, there are a couple of bits that are yours. Um, oh, are there? Yeah. So basically, oh, yeah. we put all this in a certain room when we've been sourcing and Simon got it all ready to go on the table last time we did a haul, um, but he forgot two bags. Yeah. So that's, that's these two bags. Oh yeah, that's it. Some of it is the, the stuff that I've got when I've been out on my own. Other stuff was when we were together. Yeah, I keep trying to drink out of this. So you might as well start with it. Okay, we have a piglet mug, official uh, Winnie the Pooh, Disney. It was £1.50 and it's brand new because it's still got the sticker inside. There we mm. go. And we've also got this one, another Winnie the Pooh piglet mug. This was £1.50. I've actually got one out of this mm. um, range of knives. Someone bought it for me for a secret Santa present literally 20 years ago, so I've had it longer than I've had Simon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, those were those two. And then another Winnie the Pooh mug. I can't remember what this style is called, but um, it'll come to me at some point. This was £2, and it's all sort of like a nice blue interior, but we've sold loads of Disney mugs mm. in this style. Are you bundling them up or selling them individually? How do you...? I'm probably going to sell them individually because I think... The Piglet and the Winnie the Pooh, both the tall mugs, the first two, are no one else is selling those two. Oh, right. So, yeah, I'll probably do them individually. Well, if no one else is selling them, then is it worth bundling them? I uh, just think about when we bundle things, mm. obviously we save on postage. Yeah, you know, it could be. If, if it's a goer, and then if it doesn't sell, you then split, split them. them. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. I'll do that then. Because if you, if you take individual photos... Yeah and then just one of them together or even then just canva mm -hmm. your individual photos together then if you do decide to split it you've already got the photos yeah. you've already got the work sorry does anyone else use canva i use canva all the time and so the example that simon's just said say i've got individual listings and i want to bundle them together i don't go back out and get the clothes or the items, put them on the mannequin, or set it all up to take photos. I'll go into Canva and and put them together. Hello, Lena. Come what, on, was, carrier. what was that noise? <laughs> um, I will put them together um, on an image, still on a white background, so it looks like I've taken the picture of them together. I do that all the time. Uh, Denby, what Denby is it? Reflex. Reflex. This was five pounds. A little jug. I don't normally pay that much for Denby. However, we had Reflex before and it sold really, really quickly. So I'm confident with that one. Hmm. Next up are these. These are TG Green. So the same person that does Cornish wear and they're Gresley and they're little um, sort of canistery ceramic storage jars. We've got four of them. 12 pounds for all four. And um, we got these in Saffron Morden. Yeah, these were these should have been in our last 
hundred percent of Hallbidio. Uh, <laughs> these bags that didn't make it yeah. onto the table, which um, is probably just as well because that video was quite long. <laughs> <laughs> I looked these up in the shop at the time. Bear in mind, it was just over two weeks ago now, uh, but there was none for sale on eBay or Etsy. So I'm um, pretty confident about those. However, things can change. So in the last two weeks, there could be an abundance of them listed. So. Ooh. Ooh. Blimey. TG Green and Denby Reflex just had a fight. <laughs> that light always it's flickers. It's, it's raining. Ooh. Village life. Yep. Grab this. Playmobil, set 9279. Uh, city life. So it looks like a dog walker. This one was, it's brand new and sealed. I'm gonna scan it on Amazon, I think. Paid five pounds, and this is currently for sale new on Amazon for 24.99. It's 124,000 in toys and games with over a thousand five-star reviews. So uh, I was confident when I picked this one up. It um, was in a glass cabinet, but there was other things that weren't in the glass cabinet that were for more money. Maybe they get Lego pinched. Maybe. So is this is this new or use like new? It's new. I picked this up, and I only knew what it was because of my brother-in-law. I wouldn't have a clue. Can't remember why, but a while ago I came across not. It wasn't like a glove like this. Something or other. I asked him what it was, and it's like Thanos something or other. Uh, and it does work and light up. Yeah, it was £2.50 and it was a little while ago now, but I think... It was two weeks, the same day we got the TG Green. Yeah, I think it was um, 15 to 20 for that. How much did you pay? Uh, £2.50. Oh, uh, yes. You must have got these then. I got yes. this at the same time as I got the Kramer bill. I don't even know if I scanned it. It's Kasparov Electronic Chess Trainer, upside down. There we go. I paid five pounds for this, and there's none available when I scan the barcode. There could be a different list in, but we've sold these before and they go for good money. Yeah, we do. I think we do better on eBay with these. I think we'll put these on eBay because these Kasparov chess ones don't tend to be on Amazon, or if they are. It's like a pretty poor listing, like, uh, like that. I know it's rotated, but the light's wrong. Um, so yeah, that'll, that'll go on eBay. And that could be anywhere between, without looking at this particular one, I don't know if we've had the MK12 trainer before, but it could be anywhere between 20 and 40-ish. Um, something like that. Ah, the parking gun. Bakuyan. Saw this on the shelf, grabbed it, it's eight, it was eight pounds. And I'm just gonna scan it onto the Amazon seller app. It's currently out of stock and um, it's 504,000 in toys and games, which is high, but it's out of stock. Now, I didn't realize when I picked it up that other bits came with it that weren't out on the shelf. It says bag 23 on there. So they then gave me, because it says bag 23 on the back. So they picked, this was out the back. Um, it's not complete, I, I, I did know that, but it has got loads of bits with it. Um, is there anything underneath or is it just that? Some shells. Oh, muscles, someone's had muscles. Like that. So we've got a couple of muscle shells. Always handy. Um, we've sold this uh, like arena, battle arena, or whatever it is before, um, and we've sold it with a load of the little Bukaku things. Got some clothing here. Um, this is a sea salt shirt. Uh, looks to be 100% linen to me. It's a size 14, and I paid seven pound fifty. And is it 100% linen? If you look on the tags on a sea salt item, it will tell you the name of the garment. So this is, ne oh no, that's never fear the spare buttons here. So it is 100% linen. It's the Rockcliffe shirt. Should we do one each? Should I attempt to? Um, you can attempt. 
So we picked this up for three pounds. It's a kin, I actually remember you picking this up, uh, by John Lewis. Um, and I think you asked me to search for this in the Chazza on uh, eBay. eBay. Yeah. And I think it was kind of a bit mixed. However, uh, obviously good enough to pick up. So it's three pounds, it's a large. Hopefully it's 100% cotton. It feels very, very soft. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, 100% cotton. Next up is this top. Now, it's capsule, which is simply B. We've had loads of capsule stuff before. Um, when we bought stuff on pallets, it was £3.75 and it's brand new with tags. Now, I wouldn't normally pick this up. The reason I did is one, because it's brand new with tags and two, because it's a size 30. So I've never had a size 30 before. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd give it a go. Yeah. How much was it? Three seventy five. Mm. There you go. Can I do that one? I want to do this one. Okay. Don't even know what it is. Put my hand on something. Lucky it. Here we have some jeans. They are J Brand Topshop. Are they black? No. Dark blue. Uh, and they were... The men's. Oh, the men's, are they? Uh, they were £8, they're now £4, they're size 30. They were in really nice condition. Thank you. Here we've got uh, a Noki for East. In our last video, we had a Noki for East sh uh, skirt. This one is just a shirt, size 14, paid £4.50. I wonder if it's silk. It looks like it should be. It's that sort of material, but who knows? Yes, 100% silk. Next item from the Lucky Dip is... It's a Banty slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. A World on Fire World Tour 2014. Uh, it's on the Gildan tag. Uh, it's double stitch and big slash fans here yeah there we go nice we've seen slash haven't we have you seen like slash it. do you like guns and roses we're big guns and roses fans okay what is this one jigsaw i didn't know i had this why did i have this <laughs> don't know. no i don't know either it's from a charity shop well yeah it's a large page 675 <laughs> uh what is it a dress yeah, is it silk again? Let's look together, shall we? 100% silk. Oh, 100% silk lining. Shell, 100% silk. So it's 200% silk. <laughs> it is 200% <laughs> silk, that's amazing. Uh, I got this. Lovely. Thank you, it's uh, Jacques Vert. Jacques Vert. Uh, I didn't really get it, faded. That's the vintage label. It was the vintage label. It was six pounds, now three pounds, size 10. Little, uh, don't tell me, a little blouse. Yes, to me, that is like, oh, I'm just gonna go to Woolworths for my shift. Um, <laughs> or the travel agent or the building yeah. society. Or yeah, something. Yeah. I used to work in a bank. Uh, that's yeah. the sort of thing you'd wear, is it? Oh yeah, that sort of stuff makes <laughs> Next up, Joe Brown. This is nice. This is a nice summery top. There we go. It is uh, a size 18 and it was £4.50. This isn't silk. I wonder if it's 100% cotton though. I need to know. Yes! <laughs> I am nailing this. I bet this yeah. is 100% viscose or polyester. Yeah, or what was it the <laughs> other day? It was like tinsel or something. <laughs> tinsel. Yeah. Not tinsel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a Gabici. Oh, we've got a few of these actually. I to... So, we've got a few of these polo shirts. Um, looked up, sold, looked okay. Says we paid eight pounds. Oh, no, four, four pounds. Eight, that's four, isn't it? So, eight to cost out four. Um, it's the vintage style. The vintage style ones actually do all right. Yeah, we've got that one, and we've got. This one, same, Gavici. Was that one £4? what they made out of. Uh, it was also, oh, that, that one was, was £8. Pounds. 
Because you had them, they, you, they were on a rail, weren't they, outside? There was a couple outside, a couple on the sail rail inside, and then a couple just on the rail. Is it cotton? 52% cotton, that oh, one. Oh, no. Uh, we also got another um, Gabichi, different, um, yes. different label this time. Uh, we have, I've got, we've got a fam well, we had a family friend that used to wear this sort of stuff. Did we? Well, you went around then. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was four pounds. Cool. Vintage America, where you have matching slacks. Right, okay. And this one was also four pounds, produced from eight. Same again, older label. Are we saying that's an older label than the other one? Or different label? Different. Uh, Another one. Um, same again. Four pounds reduced from eight. I think we did pay four pounds for another one and nine. Since though all the rest have been four. It's another been a one, while. different label. That's a nice colour blue. Yeah, four pounds for eight. And I'm thinking, obviously, I haven't said what the sizes are, I haven't even. I looked, but I'm thinking. So I guess what I'm thinking. Bundle. Yeah. Is it oh, my turn? On. No, I don't think it is. Uh, there's another one. <laughs> Gabichi. Um. Hang on. <laughs> I'm definitely thinking bundles. What's the point of listing? You know, I mean, obviously, find out on the research, but. What's the point of doing like 10 listings when you could do three? And, you know, get, maybe get a quicker sale and a oh. higher, a more higher value sale for less labour. A long, tall Sally cardigan, uh, red. This one was 525 and it's a size large. Feels really nice. Doesn't feel like that's been washed or worn or anything. Mm. Mm. What else have you got in your bag? J Brown jeans. Really good condition on the top. Um, we paid four pounds and they're a 30 inch waist. However, just noticed this. Hey. Uh, I'm sure we'll be okay. Because they are otherwise in great condition. Well, people walk around with ripped jeans, don't they, deliberately? So Me included, what's the and you. What's the difference? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got for three pounds, 36R, J. Crew stretch trousers. Nice. There we go. That was the same shop where we saw some Rohan trousers, the ones with the zips that you can turn into shorts. Do you remember? They were 10 yeah. pounds. Yeah, yeah. And finally, we have Peruvian connection, little top. This um, is a UK 16. It looks a bit vintagey, but I don't think it's a vintage label, but it looks very old fashioned, but it's 100% silk. And I paid two pounds. What was your favorite pickup? My favorite pickup was probably these canistery things. What was your favorite pickup? Nice. Nearly actually got you. Mm. That's close. Uh, stay tuned. Coming up, we've got a uh, palette update. It's not really moved much, so we'll be very quick with that. Also, palette update too. Also, we're going to do an update on the kilo sale. So, in our recent video where we both went to a kilo sale, we both picked up 14 items for 43 pence each. <laughs> Find out who sold first. I think we've probably already said it in the picking video earlier. Uh, but also what other things have sold out of that. Did I sell anything? I think we probably also said that in the video earlier. Uh, maybe we didn't, don't know. Don't anyway, did. stay tuned for that, see what happened there. Also, the British used clothing, uh, 10 kg of clothes that, that Faye went and picked up. Got an update on that. We've also got messages. We've also got top watched our Previous top nine watch, lots of movement there. Who got it right? Who guessed what would sell first? And then also an update on our latest top nine watched uh, to have another go at that and other solds.
quick, quick, quick palette update for you. This is the three palettes that we bought back in January. We have now sold 305 units of the 380. We've done £5,047 in turnover, and after all the fees and everything, it leaves us with 1826 Still don't think we're gonna make it to 2000. Uh, we've sold like more five to 9.99 now than we sort of thought we would, and that's purely the result of dropping the prices. So stuff's starting to get really low now. In fact, we were talking about our sort of jobs for the week, and that was definitely one that I wanted to put on there, is for me to basically, or us to go through into the barn, get out all the cheap stuff now, uh, and bundle it up and get it gone. <clears throat> Predictions are, it won't happen this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got we got two bank holidays. We got two bank holidays where we don't have to go to the post office. So yeah. And now palette update two. So this is the the sort of second palette we bought back in March, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, it cost us three hundred and ten pounds. Uh, we've just tipped a thousand pounds in turnover. Profit now, £247, it's creeping up, it's 225 last time. We've basically exhausted all the good stuff out of there, haven't we, really? Yeah. And um, similar to Palette 1, I think we'll be bundling up pretty soon. And right now, we're going to do a little bit of picking. picking. We have Etsy, Vinted and eBay today, don't we? Yeah. Do you want to start with Etsy? Yes. Okay, so we sold the wooden barometer. <coughs> That will be in home. And the barometer cost £3 and sold for £24.99 on Etsy. We've actually sold two barometers now and both of them have been on Etsy. They're cross-listed on to Etsy via zip sale, so we list everything on eBay first. So well done on that one. And then it's the CLP jars which are there. So these cost £7 and sold on Etsy for £46.99. Simon's going to show you. I'm going to show you. So it's, uh, it's these ones. Well, retro. Two of those. Two of those. What is it? Like sugar, glass. tea, sugar. They're like Pyrex. Flour and coffee. coffee. And the Etsy customer actually said that they lived on the Isle of Wight and please could I make sure that they were packed well. Yes. So I said, do not worry. We've got this. So they were happy. <laughs> cool. Okay. Vinted. We've sold... The Oasis Pencil Skirt, that is a palette item, so that's in palette two. It's a floral number. Woo. And that cost two something. What is it? Oasis? Oasis Pencil Skirt is this one. There we go. And that one sold for... It's cheap if it's palette one or two. It will be cheap. Very old. Uh, five pound plus post. Ooh. And then we have in hats the vintage Kennedy Space Center oh, hat. Buried, I buried hats the other day. Oh, did you? Because oh, there it is. It sold for seven ninety nine plus post um, on Vinted, which is great because Vinted don't have fees, and that cost ninety nine p. So I've got that in a charity shop. Well done. And now we are picking some eBay bits and bobs. So we have out of the British used clothing bundle, we have a kids tankini set. Kids. Oh, kids. It's the pink one with pom poms. That costs £3.33 and sold for £11.99. Just a Marks and Spencer's one. Month. Yeah, we also sold a really old top that I think A to Z resellers have for sale as well. It's an Andor top, so it's A in tops. Oh, keep that one out. We sold a bottle out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah. A in tops. I've moved everything around. Oh, no, you can never find it normally. So, no. it's a pink and grey glitter stripe top. Gray. I can see it. Yeah, that and cost more. yeah, that cost four pound fifty and sold for ten pounds. But we've had that for ages. So I was good glad to get it gone. That's the spirit. 
Then we've got a fruit infuser bottle. This was just in an auction job lot from ages ago. Um, yeah, it cost four ninety four, sold for seven nine seven forty nine. Um, nothing special, but worth selling nonetheless. Then we've got a monsoon vest top, which is from the kilo sale, my bag, and that is under M in tops. Cost forty three p, sold for thirteen ninety nine. There it is, top like on the left. Yep. Very well done, Faye. 100% cotton, bad boy. So that was the video that we put out. If you haven't seen it, check it out up there. Um, hope you enjoyed that one. <laughs> then, the then we've got a rare official Rick and Morty pickle Rick glass. And that sold to an Instagram. Yeah, it sold to someone that watches the channel, uh, Shauna. Yeah and messages on instagram sold for 13.99 cost three pounds nice one and uh, we've got a uh lightning reaction reloaded electric shock party drinking game that cost two pounds sold for 24.99 that was also from the garage sale oh was it yes oh yeah and then we've got the elvis presley gi blues 1960 vinyl so this was part of a bundle of vinyl that i bought i bought two beetles and three elvis the whole lot bundle was 105 pounds so i assigned 22.99 to each vinyl the first one sold for over 300 pounds uh, the other, this is the third of the Elvis to go. This is the last of the Elvis to go. And I've still got one more Beatles. So the cost price, I think 22 99 was yeah. associated to it. But yeah, it was sold for 10 33 You just yeah. split it down, didn't you? I split it down the middle, but we were, we were well up, well up from the first sale of, uh, was it the white album, the Beatles album? Yeah. Then we've got a waterproof rucksack cover. Ooh. Uh, put them in with the... And this cost 79p and sold for 10.49 stay tuned for the usual we've got some i don't know if we've got any messages this week i'll we'll have a look mm. uh but we'll show you more things that have sold and obviously we will do we're going to do the british used clothing update yes british used clothing update so how much we spent how much we've sold all of that yeah uh yeah so stay tuned and top watched Oh yeah, Top Watch. Lots of movement in Top Watch this week. Thank God. <laughs> it's your favourite segment of the video. Mm -hmm. What is it? Messages. So we've had quite a few messages since we last did a weekly video. Um, the usual sort of stuff. We've got one particular one to share with you, but just today, I just want to tell you about this one. Uh, we had a message, or well, we sold the baby carrier, the, the child seat, sorry, that we picked up at the garage sale trail for free it was just on the side of the road with a sign saying that it was that it had never been used and please take me uh, so we did it was a mini mouse child seat i listed it for 70 pounds and we have 20 percent coupon on our shop for anything over a tenner uh, so someone received an offer from us of 25 percent which they accepted and then of course they wanted the 20 percent off as well we explained to them that's not how it works do you want to cancel? They said no. Then they asked about a particular part of the description because there was a slight mark on it, even though it was unused. So I took another picture of it and that was fine. I said, do you want to cancel? They said no. I'm getting ready to pack it up and Faye shouts to me that we've had a message. The message was, have you dispatched it yet? That could mean one of two things. Either that have been impatient or they want to cancel it. We said no. And sure enough, they said they wanted to cancel because they didn't realise it was rear facing, they thought it was front facing. Uh, could they cancel? So I just cancelled it. But that one nearly made it into this video, except it only just happened. Um, but what is making it into this video this week is a message from Edward. And Edward said, Hi, thanks for the offer, honey. It's a gorgeous dress. Would it be okay to ask a question? Now, when you get those sort of messages where they've got a question to ask, but they don't ask it, usually means one of two things. And usually it's on used shoes. And it's usually followed up by a question like, when were the shoes last worn? 
If you sold on eBay for a little while, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. We've shared these kind of stories on Instagram and you see them all over the place. Uh, but no, um, Edward just thought that he would check that it's okay to ask the question first, um, as the dress would be for himself. Uh, now, I don't need to share my response. My response basically just said, I don't mind who you're buying it for, just ask your question. Uh, and, all, and, and all that came back was like, have you got shoulder to shoulder measurement? Um, I did share it on Instagram um, because at that time we hadn't had the response so we thought we'd see what people thought. And I'm just sharing that post on your screen now so you can see what everyone else thought. But that was it. That was really the most interesting question we had this week. Yeah. Oh, it's quite an interesting one really. Yeah, it was a talking point, wasn't it? If every customer told us the details about their product, then we'd spend all day reading messages. Obviously, we offer good customer service, uh, but that is just a very small part of our job. And um, yeah. Yeah, we don't want it to get any bigger. No. <laughs> Kilo sale update. A couple of weeks back, we put out a video where we went to a clothing sale and it was £1.50 a kilo. We both bought 14 items. Yeah, without realising. The feedback was that Faye did way better than me, which uh, if you haven't seen the video, check it out there. Um, she certainly did do a lot better than me. And you made the first sale, didn't you? I did, yes. Can you remember what it was? The ghost dress sold really quickly. Yeah. Uh, so, so far on this one, we both have started with 14 items. Faye has sold five and I've sold one. So I did get off the mark. It was a <laughs> 7.99 sale. Uh, I've worked out all the fees and everything. You can see them there on the screen. Um, and profit for me so far of £3.35. Now, obviously, I spent £6. So I'm actually £2.65 down at the moment, uh, plus petrol. Mm. Plus all those other uh, incidental expenses uh, that you get. Uh, probably had a Costa. Yes, no, you had a Starbucks. Oh, was that the day we queued for half an hour? No, we went to the services, got McDonald's breakfast and you got Starbucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and Faye is in profit of £44.70 on the items that sold. So, um, she's still got another, well, you spent 43 pence an item, nine items, so just under four pounds. Um, so even if you take off that, that cost of goods that's not sold yet, she's 40 pounds in profit. Yeah, I'm sure someone said that what, what we got was total rubbish, but... Yeah, there you go, 48 pounds and five pence in profit so far, minus the cost of the unsold items, which is 22 times 43, which is about eight quid. Uh, yeah, so 40 pounds profit and, you know, I think we enjoyed making a video. We enjoyed going along. I think we said we probably wouldn't do it again in a hurry, but uh, yeah. It was all about the experience, wasn't it? You've got to, you've got to go and try these things, haven't you? Um, you know, sitting watching other people do it is, uh, is all well and good, but you've got to get out there yourself and try these things for, for yourself sometimes. Yeah, I'm pleased we went. So, British Use clothing update. Um, if you watch our videos regularly, you'll see that I contacted British Used Clothing, bought some clothes, and then I spoke to them afterwards, uh, telling them about what we do. Uh, so I, I paid up front, no special deals or anything. Um, I was just a regular customer turning up. I was gonna make up 21 items. So uh, if you watched the video, you'll know that I had individual items that I was happy to sell individually. Then there was um, two bundles that I was gonna make. I actually put together one bundle in the end, there was three pairs of shoes that I was gonna sell as a bundle, but I put them with the clothes that I bundled together. So there is in fact 20 items. I sold six items so far. I'm 30% of the way to target. And the turnover so far is 93 pounds and 91p, which is leaving a profit of 40 pounds and 87p. And that is with all the usual costs calculated. Um, obviously we don't go into them, like specifically because we all know what they are um, but we always do counter in the costs yeah. don't we? We've still got £46 worth of unsold stock so you know we've got 14 items that haven't yet sold and because we're in profit of £40.87 take off the 46 quid you know we're, we're sort of in, in terms of that we break even with 14 items to sell so uh, haven't done any price changes on any of it I don't think 
Um, but yeah, we'll start moving into profit pretty soon on that, I think. Yeah, have you bought anything from Butcher Cheese Clothing yet? Have you had your delivery? If you have, tell us about it. We want to know. Um, yeah, we did get a lot of comments and messages on Instagram and stuff for people uh, that had bought them. So yeah, it would be really good to hear feedback. I know they've been really, really busy. So, because I have been talking to them. Um, so maybe that's because of you guys. You know. Top watch now. So this is where we show you our nine top watch items and give you a bit of information about them and ask you to guess which one is going to sell first mm -hmm. this week. Well, last week, we've had a bit of movement. Quite a few things have sold. Yes, finally, after a week or so of no movement. The first thing to sell was the... Monster High Dolls. Monster High Dolls. They sold first for £10 and uh, John got that right. Uh, so well done. You were the only person to guess that the dolls would sell. Did you buy them? <laughs> Uh, second sold was the warehouse dress that sold at 9.99. Finally, yeah. Third was the ceramic chicken. We think that sold to a viewer. So if so, thank you very much. And that sold at 18.79. Fourth sold was the Disney <laughs> um, decorations. Woohoo! The glass baubles. Yeah, they sold for 13.99. Fifth is the storage like the retro storage jars, kitchen jars, they sold on Etsy, didn't they? How much did they go for? 46.99, and everybody been in the video. A few of these might have already appeared in this video. And the sixth thing to sell out of the nine was the old Tupton Ware jug, and that sold for 15 pounds. This week, our latest top watch. So eBay have stopped showing lifetime views on products, just views in the last 30 days. So it means that uh, a product could have one view in 10 watches because it's had 10 historical watches uh, but it's only had one view in the last 30 days it's confused a lot of people from seeing posts on facebook and instagram yeah i was reading some yesterday actually on facebook but it's relevant it's more relevant than someone that has been sitting there watching the product for a year so i, I kind of i'm yeah. happy about it yeah the view yeah last 30 days views oh yeah i'm happy about it i mean what is weird is that views have dropped off um, I think not just as a sort of result of, you know, shopping habits and all that sort of stuff. Like I've listed stuff, like the OC box set I listed. Uh, as of yesterday, it had been listed for about five days and had no views. Now that's just weird. Um, and there's a few of those. But anyway, it's a kind of a different subject. So yes. uh, let's crack on. So do you want to do number one? I'd love to do number one. So the top watched item this week is the Disney Christmas jumper. Will someone please buy it? Uh, it's been listed since October. It's had 15 views, eight watches, and it's currently for sale at £9.89. So that's the Disney Christmas jumper in position one. Uh, number two is Reese Owner metallic vest top in medium. It's black. Uh, it's been listed since February 22. It's had 58 views in the last 30 days. Popular product. Uh, eight watches, and it's only £10.34. So number two is the Reese. Uh, top. In third place, we have the Shein Jersey Skater Dress. It's still in the top 10. Been listed since March. It's had 10 views, uh, six watches, and it's currently priced at £7.49. Will someone please buy it? The it's prices cheap. are going down and down and down. <laughs> uh, number four, still there, is the OMAC Quartz Digital Watch. Been listed since November 21. 47 views in the last 30 days, six watches, and it's only 13.49. Number four, the OMAC digital watch. In number five, we have a new entry. It's the vintage Seckler ceramic lidded dish cow on basket. Made in Portugal, I have you know. Ooh. And that was listed in November 21. It's had 12 views, got six watches, and it's currently for sale at £14.39. So that's number five, the lidded dish cow on basket. <laughs> number six is new, Ravensburger thousand piece puzzle, Notre Dame. It's brand new and sealed. Uh, it's been listed since November 21. I think I started it at like 80 quid or something <laughs> laughable. I don't, I don't know what I started it at. Uh, but it's coming down, November 21. It's had 20 views in the last 30 days, five watches, and it's only 15 pounds 29. So number six, the Ravensburger thousand piece puzzle. Number seven, we have the H&M Viscose Polo Neck Top, extra small, been listed since March. It's had seven views, it's got four watches, and it's currently priced at £7.19. So that's number seven, the H&M Viscose Polo Neck Top. 
At number eight is the Air France Cutlery. This one's seven piece. We just sold a 12 piece for 25 pounds, I think. It's been listed since March 22. 28 views, four watches, and only 20 pounds and 24 pence. So number eight is the Air France Cutlery. And in number nine, we have Urban Outfitters Mini Skirt Size Medium, listed in March. It's had nine views, it's got four watches, and it's currently for sale at £9.89. So in final place, it's the Urban Outfitters Mini Skirt. So, vote now. Write in the comments, one to nine, which one you think is going to sell first. And you'll get a mention in the next video. Right. Now we're going to show you some other items that have sold this week. We've got some good bits and bobs to show you. Uh, this isn't everything. This is just sort of, we've cherry picked, haven't we? Uh, so first up is a vintage ghost dress that was in my kilo sale. Um, it sold within a couple of hours, cost 43p and it sold for 15.99 nice one yeah and also in the kilo sale was a joe brown's tunic dress plus size 22. we had a few comments on that one saying that that would go quick and it did uh cost 43p sold for 15 pound 19 which is a lot a of these are on the 20 on our 20 percent off coupon that's exactly and, what i was about to say yeah unfortunately with the coupon you can't say you know only apply to things that are over two weeks old or thing, anything like that it's very it's very rubbish actually the uh the sort of filtering on that it's completely different to a markdown sale where you can do all of that stuff uh, but markdown sales just don't work as well for us as coupons do um so yeah because you were just going to say the funny prices so like 19p or 19 and yeah. 47p it's because of the um coupon what i thought you were going to say was that it sold a bit cheap um, um but at 43p oh yeah 43p i was fine with that then we've got another one of my kilo items crew clothing shirt size 10 khaki green 100 percent linen 43p sold for 15 pounds and 10p next up is some blooming marvelous skinny jeans these were what simon got at the kilo sale 43p into 7.99 well in. done I mean, babe if you could get you know 100 of those a day you'd be laughing yeah. we also have some air france natalie or natalie however you say because it's the french version uh, natalie george Vintage cutlery from uh, the 1980s, paid £9.47 for this this little lot and they sold for £25.17p. And I think they went to France. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we also have a bundle from British Used Clothing. So this was uh, what I've said previously, we put the shoes and the clothes into a bundle. This is all stuff that came from British Used Clothing that I didn't want to sell individually. And that sold for £16.95. Cost £3.33. Yeah, and then we sold a DVD. The DVD sold, uh, it Sykes the Complete Series. It was listed on Amazon, cross-listed over to eBay using Joe Lister, and it sold for £35.02. Uh, Amazon shipped it for us, sitting in the Amazon Fulfillment Centre. Customer orders it on eBay, and Amazon ships our stock to the eBay customer. All automated, absolutely fantastic. Love it. Excellent. Um, next up, someone bought three lots of Lego off of us. Uh, they were in a previous haul video. They're in like these funny tubs. They are the Hero Factory um, Lego sets. So we've got Mark Surge, William Ferno, and Breeze 2.0. They each cost... They were five pounds each. Or... Were they? No. Three pounds each. It's in one of our videos. I think they were three pounds each. Three or five, and the whole lot went for seventy-three pounds. Seventy-three pounds. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. We very much enjoyed making it and sharing everything that we do with you. Some things that appear in our videos, like the palette update, where there's been like a you know a seven-pound increase in our profit. Uh, you're probably wondering why we're sharing that. We just like to share as much as we can. We actually probably spend more time looking at it, talking about it and thinking about it for these videos than we do actually dealing with it as a part of the process of our business. But we want to share it with you um, because we know that many people are interested in hearing those kind of stories and seeing the progression uh, of, 
of a deal that we've done or or a task that we're that we're undertaking. So I'm yeah. interested. I'm keen because it's good breaking it down like that. Thank you for all of your messages and comments that we've received in the last week or so. We really appreciate them and we do reply to all of them. So if you want to send us a message, if you've got any questions, then please send one over and we'll be happy to um, take a look for you. But thanks again for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.